Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back for another microphone review. Today we're gonna to be checking out my brand new Lewitt LCT 140s. I'm not gonna be doing too much talking here at the top, but I will be doing a bunch of it at the end. So if you're curious about my personal opinion and my pros and cons review of these microphones, stick around till after the music. In the meantime, enjoy the sound of this acoustic piano through these microphones and my Martin HD28 through these microphones, okay? I'll see you in a minute.
All right, so that should have given you a good idea of how these sound on a piano and an acoustic guitar. Um, but in general, you know, especially with that acoustic guitar, uh, really good, beautiful, broad range of tones on that guitar. So it's a really good example of what these sound like. So what is my opinion of the sound of these microphones? I like them. Um, <laughs> you know, I think one of the problems that plagues these smaller pencil condenser microphones in this, you know, the lesser price range uh, is that they all have this sort of shrilly high end, um, a lot of information that I just typically EQ out. And that does include, you know, the microphones that I have made other reviews for, the E70s by Cat Audio and the Avanton CK1s. Those are two of the better ones in that price range. They don't have a ton of that issue, but they do have some of that issue, okay? These Lewitts, the LCT 140s, have none of that issue, you guys. There is no like shrilly, metallic y, ch -ch -ch. there's none of that high end on these. And that is one of the things that I absolutely adore about these microphones. The smoothness on the top end is really, I don't know any other microphone that comes close to the kind of smoothness that these two have. Um, exceptionally good on the high end. The other thing is that they're really, really warm sounding, which is kind of shocking, or at least it was shocking to me, uh, for a small condenser microphone. Typically, they're not totally warm sounding microphones, but these ones are very warm. You should have been able to hear that, you know, on the low end of the piano. Um, some of those bass notes that my left hand was playing, especially when I was in the headphones, I was like, man, that is beefy, you know what I mean? Um, so tonally, love these microphones they are very very nice and if you're looking for like if you are someone that has you know a hundred bucks per microphone these style microphones these are the next step up in price but i'll say that they're probably a few steps up in quality there are a few other microphones that are in this 250 dollar per microphone range um, but they all have that problem i was talking about that shrilly high end these don't have it so we like that um the other thing is that Lewitt is a relatively new microphone company on the market. So I totally encourage you to go check out their website at lewitt-audio.com. There's a link for it in the more info area. Um, but just check out all the microphones that they make because they make some very cool and innovative stuff. In fact, one of the large condenser microphones that they have, uh, there's software that comes with it that they have designed. And I was reading and it's, I'm very curious about it. Um, but apparently you can change the pulse pattern of the microphone after you have stopped recording. So you're sitting there with your recording and you can actually affect the polar pattern. I have no idea how that happens, but super cool idea, very innovative company. One of the more interesting features on these particular microphones, simple thing, but all of the writing where it says like negative 10, negative 20 for the pads. And again, on the low end roll off, there's a little button that you can click and all of those things light up and they're actually graduated. So when you're on like zero dB, it's kind of dim and then negative 10 dB, it's a little brighter and negative 20 dB, it's a lot brighter. Super simple, basic thing, but innovative and extremely useful. Um, so I like that, you know, Lewitt, guys at Lewitt, really, really good job on the backlit thing. Very cool. And in general, good job on the microphones, really nice. So when you get these, uh, I will say it comes with a pair of microphones, the really cool clips and a stereo bridge, which is just slightly out of frame here. Um, all of them pretty good. I like the clips, I like the microphones. The stereo bridge has its pluses and its minuses. And in fact, it's the only thing that I'm gonna like give a negative part of this review is on the stereo bridge. And this is mostly for the people at Lewitt, since you guys have control over this. Um, the fact that the point where it mounts to the microphone stand, the fact that it doesn't hinge is kind of makes the bridge totally useless in my opinion. Uh, you know, like when I was trying to set it up on my piano, originally I, I couldn't get it to angle, I could not get them into the angle that I needed them to be so I could record on my piano. What I was able to do though is pull the hingy part off of my old stereo bridge and stick it on this one. Now I can pivot it and I can get the angles I need. Small, thing about the stereo bridge, not the microphones themselves, but people at Lewitt, if you happen to watch this video, put a hinge on that mounting point because <clears throat> the bridge is useless without it, unless you're always going to do like this, like totally straight on and never, you know, never have a boom going horizontally at least. Uh, I'm spending way too much on the stereo bridge. Okay, so um, 
that's it. I think that's pretty much the only negative thing that I have to say about these microphones. I really, really enjoy them. You're going to be seeing them a lot more here on my channel um, because I love them. And as I record more artists and more videos for you guys, these are going to be the microphones that I use all the time now for my stereo uh, small pencil condensers. So you guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And uh, always join me over on Facebook because I'm there pretty much all the time chatting away with you guys, lots of people. And um, check out all these other videos that I've made here on GarageBand and Beyond. I've been doing this for a very long time. There's almost 300 videos and there's almost 70,000 subscribers. I'm very excited about that. Uh, but I think that's about it for now. So you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.